Okay, so last time in Paper Mario Pro Mode, we finished off uh, Chapter 1. We beat the Koopa Bros, and we got the adorable Bombette as our party member. Say hi to say hi to YouTube and Twitch land, Bombette. Anyhow, now that we're done with Chapter 1, we're going to head back to Toad Town. And we, we're also going to be fighting Junior Troopa along the way, which means I think I need to preemptively get out Goombario. And I'm going to be avoiding the enemies on my way back, because I've already fought them before, and I think at this point they're really not going to give me any... Oh! There was a hidden block there. Woof! At this point, the enemies really aren't going to be giving me any star points, so I don't see much point in it. Whee! I suppose I could head back to Koopa Village for a bit. They have a, they have a shop there. Hello, Koopas! I'm just here to drop off my items at the store. Ah, it's the old reliable Koopa shop. Alright, what can we store here? Uh... Let's store our maple syrup. We don't- we probably don't need plus 10 FP in battle. Anytime soon. That'll be fine. Thank you, buddy. No, 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 I'm not- I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna buy a fire flower. I have two of those already. And we're now approaching the part of the game where fire flowers are not as broken. Let's give ourselves another Koopa Leaf. You're still chilling here? Oh, I love this song! Doesn't it remind you of a tropical island? Get down! Yeah! I prefer the Golden Oldies Station. It's an oldie but a goodie. Oh, I love this song! Golden Oldies reminds me of the good old days! Seen it! Information Station. But moving on, folks! Ta da 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 dum! Let's, uh, attention, listeners, because here's your big chance to win! Anyone who takes a Koopa Leaf to the front of the main gate of Toad Town will receive a special gift! Right in front of that main gate, there will be a Toad who looks a bit eccentric. Hand the Koopa Leaf to him! That's right, folks, you heard me right! The big gate on the west side of Toad Town! That's the one! You've got only five minutes! Uh oh! Oh shoot, I forgot about that. Five minutes! Okay, we're gonna save, and we gotta hurry over there, and we gotta beat Junior Troop up real fast. I hope I equipped the right badges! Oh boy. <laughs> we gotta hurry! <laughs> we gotta hurry before all the Turbo Mans are gone. <laughs> I don't have time for any of these <laughs> these low-life Koopas. Oh no, the Hammer Bro forgot about him. I also need to know what's in that question mark block, but not now. Eccentric Toad is waiting for us. Hold it right there, Mario. I've been waiting for you. I don't have a time for this. I told you I'll be back. I'll get my revenge now. Koopazoys. <laughs> Mario, I promise. Uh, hey, you're Junior Trooper. Shut up. I No, I don't remember you. Oh, I'm going to beat you up. Yeah, yeah. Can we? Let's just get over, this, over with this fast. Get ready. I'm going to hurt you, Mario. Look how skilled I am. Look, I can trap myself in my egg. Okay, that's good. Great. Then let's power jump at this sucker. <laughs> Youch! Stop talking! I need... What? Why are there spy guys here? It's Junior Troopa. Oh, crab apples. We can't use the items. Uh, guys, I don't think we're winning this battle. He just summoned spy guys on us. And I am not... Oh, great! We can't do squat. Well... We can't even damage him. Well, yep, that's game over. I can't go... Action guard the spy guys. Alright, I'm just gonna give up on... Getting whatever that toad gives us. I think that toad only gives us like a nutty cake or something. I don't even think it's all that good. Or like a bland meal. So, eh, if we miss it, then we miss it. Good thing I saved. Yeah, I'm just gonna give I don't even know I don't even know if that's like a one time thing and then you miss it forever, or if it's it'll reappear if you miss it the first time. Whatever. Whatever. 
<laughs> hey, Janae, yep, showed up to a game over. Oh, what perfect luck, young man. I guess the younger generation is so bad after all. Can you give me a sleepy sheep? I'll, I'll do what I can, bro, but I think I used my sleep, my last sleepy sheep on the Koopa Bros. Yeah, we just got our butt kicked by Junior Troopa, and we were on a five-minute time limit anyways from the information station. Okay, well... I actually might invest in a Volt Shroom. I think that actually could potentially help us. Yeah, I'm gonna buy a Volt Shroom. I can't believe I'm saying that. I never use Volt Shrooms in vanilla game. Except for cooking up Life Shrooms and Hot Shrooms, but... I'm actually gonna buy it for its item utility. Can't believe I'm saying it. Oh, wait. Another thing we're gonna do before we... We're gonna make sure our badges are properly equipped. Because I did not change these. Goomba Goombari is jumping for joy. Okay. Badges. Hammer throw, we don't need that. Payoff, we don't need that. Alright, what would be useful? Power bounce? No, I don't even think power bounce is going to be all that good. FP plus for sure. FP plus for sure, and... Because that'll help with Bombette's bomb ability, which I think is going to be imperative. Um... That gives me 15 FP. Bomb, I think, takes 4. So that'll leave me a free BP to spare. I can use... One power... Yeah, I'm gonna use Close Call, not... I don't like relying on Close Call, and I hope I don't actually just flat-out rely on it, but I think it's gonna be more useful than Smash Charge for this battle. Oh boy, Mario, you wanna sleep? Oh, okie dokie. I can't tell whether we need to just throw everything we have at Junior Trooper, or if we need to take out those stupid Spy Guys first. This is not going to be one... <laughs> This is not going to be a fight that we can just cheese, though. But I, th I think the Volt Shroom is actually going to help. It'll he doesn't have a whole lot of HP. So every time he attacks, he'll take one damage, which I think will be great. Also, I can't tell if he summoned the Spy Guys because we beat him up, or if the he just does that after the first turn. But if he only does that when we actually beat him up, then the Volt Shroom would be great, because then he'll only damage himself, and then we can just kind of do nothing as Mario, and maybe that's the best strategy. One of these days I will see what is in that question mark block, but not at this point. Okay, now we can actually see his cutscene for real, because I'm not in a hurry. Hold it right there, Mario! I've been waiting for you! I told you I'd be back! Now I'll get my revenge! Here it comes, baby! Check this out! Dua! Mario, I'm talking to you! I promise you, this fight will be much different from before! Hey! You Junior Troopa! Are you following us? You need to mellow out! Shut up! You, Mario, of course you remember me- Oh, I remember you now! That's right, darn tootin', I'm Junior Troopa! This time, you're really gonna see some fireworks! It would be funny if, like, his AI for the- if the battle changes slightly, depending on whether you say you remember him or not. Get ready to hurt, Mario! I'm gonna show you a new skill I just picked up! HP Plus could also be useful for this fight. Yeah, check that out! You've never seen anything like it before, have you? Your attacks are useless now! Okay. I'm gonna start by eating that Voltrum. Refund! Mario's electrically charged, he can electrify an enemy. And now we can tattle on him just to see his HP. There we go! Alright, that dealt one damage to him. Sweet. Okay, now we're gonna switch to Bombette, and she's gonna blow him up. That didn't do much. Yeah, he has two defense now, which is nasty. Very nice. I think I'm gonna have Bombette do all the work. I'm gonna have Bombette do all the work, yeah. Because I think if Mario deals a powerful attack against Junior Trooper, he summons those spy guys. This is the- <laughs> I got the strat down now! <laughs> and 
And Voltrum is definitely helping. And... Oh, wait, hang on. This is taking too long! Why can't I finish you off? He also wants to see the eccentric toe to toe down. Good thing I brought back up! Okay, not anymore. Alright, I think at this point it's gonna be good to use the Fire Flower. I was planning on just, um... I was planning on just, uh... What's the word? Focusing with Mario, but he summoned the Spy Guys regardless. Alright. Now, the question is, does the battle end when Junior Troopa dies, or do I have to kill all the enemies now? I do not know. Well, let's find out! Great! Okay, that's not good. I'm gonna have to use the Super Shroom. The Swain Shots are definitely easier to guard against than the, uh... than the Hammers. Okay, Spy Guy, we're gonna Power Jump on you. And that'll kill him? Yes! Okay. He only gave one Star Point, what a jip. Alright. At this point... No, I'm, I can't tattle. If I tattle, it'll take an extra turn to kill them. So I'll just have to deal with whatever hammer they do. I can't action guard against that! I'm too bad at the game to do that. Can't use items, but that's okay. A hammer should finish him off. There we go! Man, that was a tough fight! Junior Troopa means business in this game. Whew. Ah! 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 <laughs> you deserve it. <laughs> Let's see if the Toad is still there. Mario! Oh, it's Twink! Mario! Mario! It's me, Twink! Remember me? Oh yeah, of course! I heard you saved the Honorable Star Spirit who was captured by the Koopa Bros! Bowser and his gang are so angry about it! I knew you could do it, Mario! You're on your way! But enough celebration for now! I came bearing important information for you! It seems that one of the Star Spirits is being held captive somewhere in Dry Dry Desert. Bowser wrote it in his diary, someplace called Dry Dry Ruins. The Princess braved the dangers of the castle to get you this clue, Mario! If we find out anything else, I'll hurry back to tell you! I have to go back to Her Highness now. She's so brave. I hope this news helps. Thanks, Twink, but I really need to meet the Toad in the Toad Town Square and get the prize from him. <laughs> Mario, he left ages ago. I'm pretty sure he's gone. <gasps> he's not gone! Arg, no more time! Oh, too bad. Please try again next time. See you at the next training event, alright? So long. Okay. I've never actually been late to one of those before. That's interesting. Oh, <laughs> I, uh, don't mind me. I just uh, always walk into houses that don't belong to me <laughs> when they're unlocked. How do you do, sir? Since I worked at the castle, I have nothing to do for a while. You'd think that'd be relaxing, but this house isn't exactly restful during the day. My wife doesn't even have any spare time to spend with me. She works all day cleaning stuff up and dealing with the kids. It must be tough doing all that work. I used to love the annual cooking contest at the castle, but it looks like we won't have one this year. I was sure that this was the year I'd beat Taste Tea. Since the castle has gone, Dad is really bummed and Mom seems a little frazzled. I'm kind of happy that Dad's at home now, but I wish we could get him to play with us. I started going to the dojo so I can get stronger and save the beautiful Princess Peach. But my mom tells me I have to behave and stay home. Why is that? Well, kid... <laughs> When your mom is happy, your life gets a lot easier. <laughs> Alright. Oh, hey, bro. Okay, um... No, that's good. I am going to buy some POW blocks for the next world. Because the next world has clefts, and I don't have any easy way of dealing with them. 
I can smash charge, but that's about it. Yeah, side quest stuff for between the chapters, that's the way to go. Now before I forget, I gotta go to sleep, because Junior Troopa beat me up. And thankfully Toad lets me sleep in his bed for free. Because I'm a celebrity! Marty, you're done with finals! Woo! Time for a party! <laughs> a paper party. Alright, before I go to Shooting Star Summit and trade in some of those star pieces, let's go down here. Bad shop is open! Hey, mister! My dad's opened his shop! Don't you want to take a look? It's really cool! It's a bad shop! For badges! Come on, check it out! I thought it was a bad shop for hot dogs. That's okay. We have lots of rare badges, so take a very close look! Okay, we got first attack. That's not going to do anything for me at all. Multi-bounce kind of stinks. D-down pound! Yeah, I'll get D-down pound. Oh, I knew you wanted that one, Mario. It's 75 uh, coins. Yeah. D-down pound can be useful. Oh, yeah. This game, ha I have some of the strongest nostalgia for this game. Well, I thought that one had a star piece. Maybe not. Oh, it's... Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness, it's Mario. My name is Tasty. I love to cook. If you bring me ingredients, I'd be happy to fix you one of my energy-giving dishes. Would you like me to cook you something? If they screw up with the cooking recipes in this, I'm in trouble. All right. Cook my Koopa Leaf. Tra la 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 here you are! This recipe's not too bad. Here, please. Koopa tea! That's almost... That's more than twice as good as a regular Koopa leaf. <laughs> Bake this syrup in the oven. Oh, okay, I, if you say so. Here you are. It's not too bad. A super soda. Ooh, wait! That's different. Dog on it. Push the wrong button. Actually, I need to switch my badges out anyway, so... No to that, no to that. I am going to equip payoff again. D-down pound uses 2 FP, disables an enemy's defense power and injures it. Yeah, it pierces defense. It's pretty nice. I'll equip smash charge just in case for the clefts, and I guess I'll have to equip close call besides that. Alright. Yeah, it said the super soda. Cures shrinking or poisoning and restores 10 FP. That's a good deal better. I love that. That's great, they- oh man, I like how they're kind of making some of the items that were kind of useless a lot better. Hey Mobius, how's it going? Oh yeah, Mar Marty, Tasty is old. I'm pretty sure. She's got the gray hair. I'll cook your mushroom. Tra la 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 She's got the laugh lines that, like, grandmas tend to have. Here you are, it's not too bad. Here, please. We get the fried shroom. Okay, that's still the same. That's okay, that really didn't need to be balanced. That's a good early game item. And then cook my fire flower. I'd probably rather have the fire flower, but I can't help it. I want to cook. Tra la 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 la! Here you are! And we get the spicy soup. That's still the same as well. Alright, thanks, Tasty. Why is there a boo here? You're not supposed to be here. Hey there, I'm a finder. I find fiends, and you know what they say, finders keepers. I found all sorts of items. The thing is, I don't have any use for most of my items. They're just taking up space. So I'm practically giving them away as prizes for trials. I'll give you one of my items if you complete a trial right here, right now. The harder the trial, the better the prize. What kind of trial? Glad you asked. My ghostly magic will teleport you into a series of battles. Oh, if you win all the battles, I'll give you one of my items as surprise. Whoa, this is cool! You can flee at any time and I'll bring you back safe, but if you lose, well, I can't help you out. Of course, this isn't free. I'm not just giving my treasures away. Ghostly magic ain't cheap and I've got overhead costs. So what do you say? Are you ready for a trial? Not right now. Alright, maybe next time. That's cool! I love that! I really like that. Oof! Well, hello there! My name is Babol. I come from the flower fields, the wonderful land of flowers. I'd love to spread the wondrous flowers of flower fields all over your land. You like flowers, don't you? Of course you do! Who doesn't? For that reason, I'll entrust this to your care. And we get the magical seed! That is a flower seed. If it's well cared for, cared for a beautiful flower will bloom. 
These flowers are delicate. Only one with a loving heart can make them bloom in beauty. Please take good care of it, for beauty is fragile. <laughs> so basically, he's looking for a diamond in the rough. I could go to Toad Town Tunnels, fight the blooper, and get the shrink uh, stomp badge, but the shrink stomp badge kind of stinks, and I'm scared of that blooper. He's probably going to be pretty scary in this. Oh, hey! it's it's uh, Is this Rip Cheeto or Cheat Rippo? Your little man name's Cheat Rippo. Pleasure meeting you. Say, man, don't you want to upgrade your status? <laughs> I know you do. It's usually 390 coins, but for you and only you, I'll do it for just 39 coins. If you give me 39 coins, I'll upgrade your HP, FP, or BP. I'm not lying or cheating you. Come on, you know you want it. Yeah, no. Too bad you're lost. Never time, maybe. Okay, everybody, tell me, is he? Does he ever have like just like a platypus bill, or is is his face buried in like a paper bag of some kind? I always thought his face was buried in a paper bag of some kind, but I could be wrong about that. Shrink Stomp is good. Cake Mix you can buy now? That's great! I love that change. That's so good. Oh my gosh, Volt Shrooms are cheap! Actually, wow. Tasty. Oh, Tasty Tonic is a lot better. Oh, it restores 5 HP and FP and cures Poison Shrinking. Yeah, that's way better than it used to be. Oh, this is great! I bet Shrink Stomp would be better in Pro Mode, where all the enemies have double attack power. Hmm. Oh, there's Tempting. I'm saving my money, because I might be able to buy another badge from Rolf Shop, but... I'll keep that in mind. At the very least, there's a block here that I can hit. Whee! Oh, that's right. You have to go to a lot of trouble just to get to this one <laughs> coin block. Thanks for the money! I guess I've always found Shrink Stomp to just kind of be a waste, because I feel like, in my experience, most enemies, you don't really need to lower their attack power. And when you do, um, there's not even it's not even a guarantee that it'll work. At least as far as I as far as I know, I don't think it's a guarantee that it'll work. I don't like relying on luck based stuff, so. Not to mention, most of the enemies in the upcoming world um, have spikes on their heads, so it's not like I could even use Shrink Stomp in the next world. You haven't changed out any of your items. Oh! Oh, wait! Oh! oh, 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 oh. No, 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 no. I'm buying Speedy Spin. I am buying Speedy Spin. One of my favorite badges. True, it's probably not the best thing to buy in pro mode, but... You, you gotta be kidding. I'm buying Speedy Spin. Oh, it takes no BP to equip now? That's even better! I'm used to it taking at least one BP. Oh, yes. I'm never unequipping that. Whoosh! 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 Oh my gosh, spinning is so much faster. Quiz! It's everyone's favorite quiz master, Chuck Quizma. Want to try the quiz? Different questions this time. So let's go to the question. Question. How did Princess Peach close her invitation letter? Okay, she said... I can't remember what I said last time. Uh, yours truly, Peach? Oh, tough luck! I can't remember if I said that or sincerely, Peach, last time. Oh, that's right. Mario 64, it's yours truly, Princess Toadstool, Peach. That's a shame. Well, we got some star pieces. Let's trade them. We're going to need all the help we can in the upcoming worlds. I thought I tried Sincerely Peach last time, and it didn't work. I could be wrong, though. Hello there, Merlo! 
I'm Merlot! Trade star pieces! Okay, we got ten. Money, money is only ten? How many? How much BP does this take in this version? I'm gonna exchange money, money for ten star pieces. It only takes free BP? What? Okay, well, uh, that's definitely a good option right there. Zap Tap is also pretty good. Zap Tap is the one I should probably get if I want to make the fights easier, but money, money, double money. Oh, man. Feeling fine is also going to be useful down the road for when I can't guard against status effects. Um, How much is Zap Tap? It's still four. That's a lot of BP to equip. That's basically all my BP shot on that one badge. Mm. Uh, I love money, though. <laughs> and if I can get it this early... I mean, money's not a problem later on in the game, but early game it can be. I'm getting money, money. I don't care. I'm, I don't care. I'm getting money, money, and I don't care what anybody says. <laughs> I need the money. <laughs> okay, we're going to... Let's see. We're unequipping those free badges. We have, we have all of the money-related badges equipped. Literally all of them. Who needs to do special moves? <laughs> Who needs to do special moves? I want the money! <laughs> You guys don't even understand how much money we're going to get after we defeat enemies in this. We, cause, cause money, money gives double the money that they would normally drop upon their defeat. Payoff gives them, makes them drop extra money when you take a lot of damage in battle, and they stack together. So if we take a bunch of damage in one battle and then win, they're gonna drop like 30 coins. It's gonna be amazing. Yes, I am Scrooge McDuck, as a matter of fact. Alright, now we can read the letter from the red and blue Goombas. Here you are. Goobario, you were a lot stronger than you looked. We figured you were just some punk Goomba hanging around with Mario. Anyway, you proved yourself to us, and you showed us that being good is as important as being strong, so... When you come back, do you think maybe we could be... Friends? Please say yes! We'll be waiting, red and blue Goomba bros. That's kind of a nice letter. Alright, a letter... <laughs> Cooper is getting a letter from Colorado's wife. Let's see where this goes. Here you go. Cooper, how are you doing? Your mother dropped by for a visit the other day. We had a really nice talk over some Koopa tea. She did seem a touch disappointed that you were still on the road. Mom, I literally just agreed last video to go with Mario. We've, we're not even on chapter 2 out of 8. <laughs> she said that she's going to cook a delicious dinner when you come back, so you have something to look forward to. Oh, yes, if you happen to see my wayward husband, please tell him to come home more often. Take care, Colorado's wife. She doesn't have a name. Money, money, money. Always sunny. Water and dirt, sunshine power, beautiful blooms, beautiful flowers. Hello, my name is Min T. Please enjoy the beauty of this flower garden. I've heard there's a lovely flower we don't have here. Supposedly, babolbs are the only known have the only known seeds. This is what a babolb looks like. Herp -a -doop -a -doop. If you find a babolb, could you get seeds for me? I'll plant them in this flower garden and raise them lovingly. Sure. Here you go. I trust you. Oh, you'll give me the seed? Thank you. I really appreciate it. I'll plant it right away. <laughs> I love the little happy dance she does when she plants the flower. <laughs> it's so good. Alright, folks. Uh, I'm gonna try the Boo Trials, at least. We might encounter new enemies, so I'll get out Goombario. I wanna try the Boo Trials just to see what they're like. <laughs> Plus, I uh, need the money! <laughs> Probably risky to go into the, the Boo Trials with all the money-related badges and literally nothing else, but... I'm a sucker, and I just saved. Are you ready for a trial? Yes. Which trial do you want? Chapter 1. You want to try Chapter 1? The trial is 8 rounds, and the entry fee is 10 coins. Let's do it! Alright, here we go. Get ready. Oh, okay. Well, this is easy. Oh, 
Oh, and we're gonna level up, too! Sweet! Actually, will we level up from this battle? No, we, we're one star point short. We are 100% leveling up BP. <laughs> Just seven rounds left, maybe they'll stand a chance this time. <laughs> He's saving the Hammer Bros for last. I'm also curious to see what kind of item he gives us. If it's like something like, oh, it's a Super Shroom, or if it's like actually a unique item. Alright, well, bro, that one was just as easy as the last one. <laughs> Piece of cake! Definitely BP. Definitely. We can always use BP to equip an HP or FP+, plus. anyways. Now it's round three! Can I equip badges now? No. Aw, oh, doggone it. Alright, I don't think these are going to be new enemies, then. In that case, Cooper, your power shell is needed. And we do have a couple of healing items. And by that, I think we have one. I think we have the fried shroom, and that's it. Oh, and the spicy soup. Round three is down. I don't think you broke a sweat. It's true. Well, I mean, I did get hurt a little bit. Because we have refresh, and refresh stores more stuff than it usually does, I'm not too worried about F losing FP. Eh. <laughs> Plus, we're at the point of the game where I can still action guard pretty easily, thanks to there not being lag anymore. Yeah, I know, they need another Paper Mario game like this, but I think at this point they're like, Paper Mario, we're gonna make, like, weird sticker star color splashed kind of games now, and, like, the RPG-style games like this is exclusively the Mario and Luigi series, which is not the same. It's not, like, bad, but it's not the same. I'm going to take out the paratroop in the back first. So that way Cooper can focus on... Demi Yorks. Darn it. <laughs> My finger brushed past the A button way too early. York. Nice job. All right, take out him, take out the Koopa. This should go pretty easily. Okay, I was expecting more advanced enemies than this. I'm glad it's not more advanced enemies, but... There we go. Now we can put him out of his misery. Bloop! Bloop! Watch them give... Watch them throw clubbas at us, though, for the last fight. I'm, I'm waiting for it to happen. I'm waiting for it. You made it work. All right, now time for the sixth one. This game has your favorite fight music of any RPG. It's a pretty great one. It's possibly the only fight music that doesn't annoy you or, or get old over time. That's possible. All right, I think... We're going to hold off on the power shell until those bob start going off. Also, we need to use Refresh. Okay, this is the perfect time to use Refresh right here. No, no! I didn't mean to do that! Oh, 
Well, this fight just got a whole lot more dangerous. We might be dead. Oh, we are 100% dead. The game dropped my input to say refresh. I pushed down and it didn't register, so it made me use focus instead. Well, that was unfortunate. I'm not doing that again. No, sir. I'm not doing that again. I'm going off to I'm going off to the next world. Welcome to Toad Town's famous Little Oink Farm. Hit the bar overhead, pay 10 coins, and wait for the egg. Hit it with the hammer to hatch the Little Oink. Try to find out what kind of Little Oink will be born. Have fun watching those adorable Little Oinks. Be careful, though. If someone gets inside the fence, all the Little Oinks will run away. You can have a maximum of 10 Little Oinks on the farm. When the 11th Little Oink enters, the first will leave. Now try to see all the different types of Little Oinks. Little Oinks are... Little Oinks are kind of too expensive to really be worth it. Yeah, you can get Ultra Shrooms and Jam and Jellies and Repel Gels out of it, but it... you can... You, it's a bare minimum of, of 110 coins in order to get one of those, and that's if you're crazy freaking stinking lucky. Oh, no! This is horrible! We can't use the train because this rock is in the way! Boom! Oh, thank you, Mario! The train's back on track! All aboard! This train's bound for Mount Rugged! Are you coming, Wario? Yes! Call me Wario, because I'm all about the money! <laughs> the train is about to depart! Please board quickly! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> that was a terrible Wario laugh. Sit tight, folks! Now departing for Mount Rugged! Is the train talking to us? Oh no, there's the conductor inside the train. At first I thought it was like a Thomas the Tank Engine situation. <laughs> poot, poot, poot. Off to Mount Rugged today, Sir Topham Hat. Boom, 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 boom. Chapter 2, The Mystery of Dry, Dry Ruins. This is a desert world done well. I actually really like this world. In fact, the only world in this game I don't particularly like is Flower Fields. But even then, it's not awful. Mount Rugged! Mount Rugged! Passengers heading for Dry Dry Desert or Dry Dry Outposts should proceed directly over Mount Rugged from this station. Hope you have a paratrooper to carry you across. Oh, hello, sir. If you want to go to Dry Dry Desert, you'll have to hike over Mountain Rugged. Follow the arrows on the signboards so you don't get lost. There are a lot of scary creatures around here. If you're not careful, you'll get hurt in a big way. If fiends are looking desperate, you'd better run away really fast. At least I would. No joke! Clefts can be impossible to kill if you don't prepare. Speaking for which... Gotta get out Goombario for the new enemies! We find money in the bushes, but did you know you can find eggs in bushes? I did. Alright. Yeah, we're at, we're topped off. Ah, no! Confound it! Where could it be? Freepio! Where could he be? <laughs> Fun fact, when I was a kid, I didn't realize he was wearing a male hat. I thought Paracary just had Princess Leia hair. <laughs> oh, sorry folks, very sorry. I was looking for something and not watching where I was going. What now? Aren't you Mario? Hey, you are! You're THE Mario! Hello there! The name's Paracary. I deliver letters. Um... I'm normally a letter-perfect postman, but I'm having a bit of a trouble with a lost letter. Uh, wouldn't you know it? I dropped it on Mount Rugged, and now I can't find it. If you happen to stumble upon a letter anywhere around here, please tell me, alright? My job could depend on it. I'll be searching this area thoroughly for a while. This is not a first-time thing for you, Paracary. You drop it kind of frequently. A dunk. Monty Moles. 
I love the faces they make when they uh, when they get, die. Didn't mean to sound morbid, but they make funny faces when they're blowing up. Okay, Monty Moles are not happy about me laughing over their deaths. Wow. They aren't just throwing rocks for the fun of it. They they've pre been practicing their fireball. They've been chucking them. Well, that's okay. We get a free level up. BP, baby. I'll take it. Oh yeah, look at look at all that money. And we only took a little damage in that battle. Okay, badges. Let's see for this world. Do power jump, smash charge, and I guess close call. Yikes, that's a lot of Monty Moles. Uh, Cooper, help me out, would you? Come on, be a pal. Yeah, these Monty Moles are dangerous. Wow, I actually guarded against that. <laughs> Don't mess with the moles, apparently. Grr, boy, Ogie, that'd be a good, terrible idea. Well, uh, gotta change my timing on the action guard, but thanks for all the money. What is this? You got the hustle drink, a special drink that gives Mario an extra action next turn? What? That's a new item, and that sounds really good. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna treasure that one. Hey, dude! Waku! I'm Waka. Just another picture perfect day atop Mount Rugged. Woo! The sunshine, the fresh air, so refreshing, Wackadoo. Wack! Ow! What's wrong with you? You you lunatic! I'll teach you to pick on me. Wait, what? <laughs> That's bad. Oh, they turned him into a mini boss. That's amazing. It's a new enemy in the game. I got a tattle on him. I think we're probably so screwed, but we're tattling on Wacka. This is a Wacka. That bump on his head looks like a donut hole. You probably shouldn't have hit him so much. He looks a little peeved. Um. HP! Okay, we are so screwed, and we can't even run away. Well, we're gonna make the most of it. I wonder what happens if you beat him. Okay, we can actually guard against his attacks, though, so that's pretty great. We actually might be able to beat him. I wonder what we get if we beat him. <laughs> Just in time. All right. Refresh. Refresh. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love that. I love how they took Wacka. Because I always felt bad for Wacka, where he gives you a really good like item if you hit him on the head. And now he's getting his revenge. That's so fantastic. Oh, and he changes the timing on that, too. Should have equipped Power Bounce. Okay, I think we can beat him, though. I think we can beat him. Ironically, that Lucky actually kind of messed up my timing. Uh, do we... I'll eat the egg. I can always get another. I'm eating a raw egg! Shell and all! Delicious! <laughs> oh yeah, we got him. We got him, because then on my next turn I can power jump. Oh wait, power jump is only four. Mm, bye! 
Do I have anything else? I have a fried shroom. I didn't save before I fought him, did I? I'm using all my items, but I got to kill Waka! <laughs> or, I'm sorry, I'm Wario. I've got to kill Waka for the money! Wah <laughs> That's harder to action guard against than you might think. Alright. Bye, Waka! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Was not expecting to fight him! Only five star points?! What a ripoff! Do I at least get something good on my pizza? Waka Waha! I can't take this abuse! Well, we did get a Waka's bump! 25 HP and 25 FP. Oh, item that's so good, I'm not gonna be using it for a while. Well! Was not expecting that. That was funny, though. <laughs> Mario, you did you find my letter? No! I did not find your letter! <laughs> Let's get another egg. We're gonna need it. Well, there was no safe walk back here. That's right, the safe walk is farther up. Okay, so here's the question. To get a Wackus bump, do you have to fight him every time? You can fight him again. I'm not even gonna talk to him. I'm afraid if I talk to him, he'll be like, I remember you, you bot! And then fight me again. Okay, we are definitely saving. Wow, Wacka's not taking that anymore. I think I'm gonna avoid those Monty Moles, because there's kind of a lot of them. World 2 is one of the few worlds in a Paper Mario game where I actually will not fight every enemy I see. A letter to Merlin! Alright, clefts are up here. And this is why I stocked up on some... Pow blocks before coming here. That's a cleft. They're pretty strong. But since I've topped off on everything, I'm just gonna... And there's only one. I'm gonna use Smash Charge. Plus, this way, payoff and money, money. Take that. I am glad I got money, money. As a matter of fact, yes. <laughs> okay, yeah, now there's two of them, and this is this is why I got some power blocks. Because I think they're immune to fire flowers. I'm pretty sure clefts in this game are immune to fire flowers. Ooh, <laughs> money, baby. Oh, that's right. We need Paracarry to get over there. Another thing I'm realizing is that Bazaar is probably going to be immensely difficult. I probably should be saving those Pal Blocks in case I fight, like, four clefts, but... Nah. I can always run away from four clefts. And plus, I think we might get a Pal Block in this area anyways. Or maybe that's a Sleepy Sheep, I forget. Either way. Fall down here, we get the letter. Ouch! Alright. Probably shouldn't have used my paw blocks that quickly, but... Can't help it. <laughs> he was picking a fight with me. I had to teach him a lesson. Oh my gosh, and look at all the money! See? Money, money was totally the right call. I already... I already have... <laughs> oh my gosh, 122 coins. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> I'll come back for the star piece later, don't you all worry. Oh, actually, wait, no, you can't... You have to get the star piece this time. Because the slide don't take you back. I'll probably get Zap Tap next time. 
I just don't have really enough BP for Zap Tap at this point, because it takes a whopping 4 BP. If I have money money now and I use it constantly, then I could potentially get enough money that I don't really need to worry about it ever again. <laughs> Barf. on it. That is really hard to defend against. Gotta either hope for the close call or for this action guard. Whew, thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Again, I don't like relying on close call, but I was also... I also could have action guarded it, potentially, so... Yeah, that was risky, but I took it. And just imagine all the money we're gonna get for this fight. <laughs> Look at that! Uh, I, I really should go back and get the health refill, though. Actually, I'll save first, just in case. There's no reason not to save. It takes literally one second, and it's a lot safer. Yeah, I already got the coins. Alright. Because <laughs> there were quite a few enemies over in that last part of the mountain, so... <laughs> hey, do you have any letters for me? Yes, but uh, I'm gonna give you... I'm gonna wait till I find all three of them. I only said I lost one letter, but I've played the game before. It would be interesting if he actually lost more than three letters. Like in Pro Mode, they add an additional letter or two around Mount Rugged. <laughs> One of them you have to go back to Toad Town for. Man, the music in this game is just so good. Also, these enemies are respawning at a much faster rate than they do in the vanilla game. You're supposed to have to leave the, like... Not leave the room, but, like, leave the world you're in. So, like, I'd have to go back to Toad Town or go to, like, Dry Dry Desert for them to respond. Nope, as soon as you leave the screen, they come back. Okay, this has a regular old mushroom. I'll take it. I need all the help I can get. Hey, bro. Okay. Going up here to get one of the best badges. Damage dodge! Alright, we gotta equip that. We are equipping that right now. That's gonna be so freaking useful. Is it still free BP, or is it two like it is in Thousand in Your Door? It's two like in Thousand in Your Door! Excellent! Alright, sorry, close call. But, damage dodge is better. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna keep Smash Charge for the time being just for those clefts. But as soon as we leave, I'm unequipping it. Yeah, at this point, we, we be ignoring those enemies. I don't want them. Uh, no! Ow! Oh, why'd you make me do that? Okay, well... We can do this. We can smash charge and we can bomb. Wait a second. Damage charge is lessening the effect by an additional two damage. They would normally, even before I equip damage dodge, they would deal two damage to me even if I action guard. Now they're dealing zero damage. Oh my gosh, damage dodge is way better in this, and it was already really good in vanilla game. But here they made it like twice as good and cost one less BP to equip. Wow, that's a good badge. Yeah, I'm never unequipping that. <laughs> Thank you for the honey syrup. Thanks, honey. Whee! And the letter to Colorado. The Koopa, not the state. I didn't want to pick a fight with you, but you leave me no choice.
Man, that is so difficult to action guard against. I don't know why, but it really is. Actually, I do know why. It's because it comes lightning fast. There we go. Oh my gosh, yeah. So, if you can... <laughs> it's a lot harder to action guard in this hack, but if you can, it's much more rewarding. You basically take no damage. I'm starting... Yeah. <laughs> Refresh, please, and thank you. Gotta get that HPFP. These moles, I wanna pick wanna pick a fight with a bomb! You fool! I cannot get that down. I cannot get the timing for that down. Still fine. I will accept even more money. We're, we have, we're gonna break like 200 coins pretty soon. Oh my gosh. You know you have the right amount of money related badges on when the game lags because of how much. Hey, Nintendo Addict. Yeah, the, yes. The rocks are much faster in this. No, I'm running away. I'm running away. I do not trust myself to be able to action guard all of that. I'm I'm gonna take my losses. I've made so much money. Yeah, welcome to pro mode, where the enemies' attacks are a lot faster. And you missed it. Wacka turned into a mini boss. I tried to hit him to get the Wacka's bump, and I had to fight him, and he was really tough. Well, he almost killed me. All right. Heart refill. Hey, Paracarry. Here's the letter to Merlin. Oh, that's the one. Ah, oh, thanks for finding it. I'm so relieved. Uh, actually, I, I, I'm actually looking for two other letters. Yeah, yeah, I found both of those already. I knew you were missing free. Oh, there we go! That's why I've dropped it by accident. <laughs> I'm gonna level you if you, uh, Paracary. This one's really important, so I'm gonna face you head on. Here's the last letter. The last letter! You found it! Now I've got all the letters I've lost today. Oh, thank you so much. You're a lifesaver. I wish there was some way I could repay you for your help. Actually, to be honest, I haven't just lost letters on Mount Rugged. I may have dropped some all over the Mushroom Kingdom while I was flying. Heh <laughs> Yeah, you know, you're good at finding letters. Do you think you could keep an eye out for during your travels? In return, I would offer you whatever help I can, sure. Oh, praise the stars! I wasn't looking forward to having to find all those letters all by myself, no sir. I'll do my very best to help. You shall not regret this. Janae, you warned me not to hit Wacka, but because of the delay in Twitch chat, by the time you went, by the time I actually your message appeared for me, I had already started the fight. Paracarry, join your party! Worst party member, join your party. You press down C to have him hover for a short time. Yeah, you need that for utility. And technically he can fight in battle, but he absolutely sucks. <laughs> yeah, I would not trust him to be a mail carrier. That said. He can carry me over a small gaps anytime. Alright. Now we basically pay, play catch up of finding all. getting to all the stuff we couldn't get to earlier. I feel like Paracarry is the partner that you need to use the most in the overworld for, to travel. And he's like. He's not useless in battle, but he is so much worse than, like, every other party member in battle. Also, his skydive is really hard to get the timing down for. It's, it's a very short window of timing to get the action command right. Like, the only thing Paracarry can do in battle that's actually kind of good is Shell Shot, but it, it, even then it costs a lot of FP, and there are still plenty of alternatives. Just most of them involve Mario. Oh yeah, I should equip Quake Hammer. Instead of Smash Charge. Paracarry's like, I am not amused. Sweet. 
Yeah, Quake Hammer is a very good badge, especially for early game. Take that, Clefts. I now can just use a POW block whenever I want. With my hammer. Thanks for the money. Appreciate it, bruh. Huh? You are talking to me? I don't see anyone else here. Alright, you are talking to me. It's been a long while since I first came here from my home in the flower fields. But you're still the very first person to speak a word to me. Nobody ever notices me. The few people I actually see just think I'm boiling. I love a good conversation. Here, take this as thanks. This is a precious seed. Keep it well and remember me. Yay! Please grow my seed with care. It'll help you one day. Okay. Okay, I believe you. I can't believe Quake Hammer only takes 1 BP and 2 FP to use in battle. Like, that- that's incredible. I also can't believe how good damage dodge is in this. <laughs> like, wow. Oh yeah, I- <laughs> I do not re- <laughs> I'm just gonna be spending the entire stream being like, I do not regret getting money money for one second. Money, money is low-key one of my favorite badges in the whole game. Even though you can- you could probably ar make it the argument that it's not all that good. But, like, pfft, I got 213 coins, so who's laughing now? <laughs> yes, the Monty Moles have indeed been practicing their fireball pitch. Very accurate. Feels like kind of a waste to Quake Hammer just one cleft, but you know what? We're gonna hit the heart container anyways before going off to the desert, so might as well. Oh yeah, so... Before we go to the desert, we have to go past Bazaar. Now, I'm not sure if they've even changed him, or I'm not sure what they've changed regarding him or not. I'm sure he's going to be a really, really tough boss. I'm not even sure if we'll be able to bypass him or not. They might have patched it out, they may have fixed it so you can't just pretend to be a Luigi to go past him, so... We might have to fight him, but regardless, I'm going to try to fight him. And see if I can beat him, but I have a feeling he's going to be, like, crazy tough, so we gotta prepare for that. So I'm going to use my uh, orient my badges now to prepare. So, yeah, Bazaar is a really tough fight. So Quake Hammer is going to be useless against him. We're also going to unequip Payoff and Money Money because he doesn't drop anything. So we're going to equip. We have six available. Honestly, I might go HP plus FP plus. And I'm going to unequip Refund and equip Power Jump. I think that's going to be the best. I think that's going to give us our best chances against Bazaar. We need the extra HP, we need the extra FP. Yeah, I place your votes. Do you think Bazaar will be still be optional, or will he now be mandatory in order to reach the desert? I'm kind of thinking, with all the changes they've been making, that he's going to be mandatory to beat. Regardless, though, I think he's going to be very, very difficult. Because I think he naturally has 30 or 40 HP, and he's already decently powerful, and he's going to have twice that. So, yeah, I'm not... <laughs> this is going to be really tricky. Just ignore me. Hey there! Hold up a sec, partner! 
Just a darn minute. I've seen you somewhere. If it gives me the option, I'm at least going to try to fight him the first time. And if I think he's doable, I'm going to try to beat him. But if I think he's just completely impossible to beat, then I'm going to bypass him and fight him at a later time. Yep, very similar. You look a lot like this fella Mario who's on Bowser's Wanna poster. Now give, what's your name? Okay, it looks like it's the same. I'm Mario. Mario? Well, I'll be. If you're Mario, I reckon I gotta bust you up. Okay, bizarre. He's gonna be at one tough cookie. This is bizarre. He guards Mount Rugged. Wow, that's one big bird. If you get caught in the clutches of his sharp claws, you'll lose 4 HP. I bet that's 8 HP now. Try to wriggle out of his grip. His special attack is flapping his wings to create wind. This attack damages your party members, too. But he was hatching eggs, wasn't he? Is it possible that he's really a she? I wonder. Maybe he's just guarding the eggs while his wife is out. Or maybe it's like a Terry from Banjo-Tooie situation. Alright, well, that didn't last long. Mario's injured. Oh my gosh, I escaped. Oh man, I don't even have a lot of star power either. Youch! Alright, he's not nearly as difficult as I was expecting him to be. Oh yeah, that's... There's no way I'm gonna avoid that. Great! Okay, I am not using the Wackus Bump if I can at all help it. Uh, I'll eat an egg. Eggs are easily replaced. Alright, he's halfway down. Ouch. Guess I'll eat a mushroom too. Gotta keep my HP up. I can't believe I'm doing that, but... Oh my gosh, thank goodness. Okay, how much... How much does Shell Shot? It takes four. Alright. Shell Shot deals extra... Oh, ah. It's like twice as powerful as Power Jump, eh? Okay. Now we'll Power Jump. Oh, no. Well... See ya, Paracarry. <laughs> Probably won't be using you again. Refresh. Yeah, I was I wasn't ex I was kind of expecting him to have new attacks or something. But yeah, it looks like he's just doing a little more damage than he normally does. I like how he keeps doing this move, because this move I can actually like avoid all damage potentially with it. That's great. Please keep doing that. All right, no, he's he was not nearly as bad as I thought because I believe he's gonna die now because now we can shell shot with Paracarry. Goodbye, Bazaar. Wow, he was way easier than I was expecting. Yeah, I got whooped. Yeah, you did. Okay, yeah, I was that was not the nightmare I was expecting it to be. I I feel like I had a harder time with regular Bazaar when I was young than with him now. Okay, well we're off to the desert, so bloop bloop bloop, <laughs> and uh, back with Quake Hammer. There we go. <laughs> Excellent. Actually, what time is it? Oh, I still have... Okay, we don't even have to end the stream here. I can explore the desert for a little bit. Alright, off to dry, dry desert. With some of my favorite music. Well, hello there, old boy. How goes the travels, eh? I'm known as Colorado. I'm an archaeologist, you know? I travel the world. At the moment, I'm turning dry, dry desert upside down to try to find the dry, dry ruins. 
My assistants have attempted to gather information in Dry Dry Outpost, which is near here. Sadly, as of yet, we're having little success. All I need is a clue, and we'll be golden. Uh, you're Colorado, correct? The name's Paracary. I deliver letters. I believe I have one for you. Hang on a moment. Another letter duly delivered. A postman's job is never done. Oh, good show! It's a letter for my wife. Thank you very much, so ever, old chap. This is just what I needed to give me strength to go on. I know! I'll pass this along as a spot of thanks. I came across it while I was immersed in the dig around here. Thanks, buddy. Well, hello there, old boy. How goes the travels, eh? I'm known as Colorado, and I'm an archaeologist. Blah, blah, blah. What? Whoa! You're Professor Colorado! It's Cooper! I live next to you! It's so great to see you! I never would have expected to meet up with you out here! <laughs> I'm so excited I could cough! I I'm right in the middle of an expedition with Mario! I want to be an archaeologist like you! Hello there, Cooper! It's been ages! So, if you're serious about taking up archaeology, you and I should go exploring someday! Anytime, really! For now, you concentrate on your adventure with Mario. You'll never attain such fame in archaeology as I have if you don't finish one task before starting the next. Whoa! Okay! As soon as we're done saving the princess of the Mushroom Kingdom and everything, you and I will go exploring! Aw. That was cute. I like that. <laughs> Cooper's such a little fanboy, and it's great. Colorado's searching out mysteries as usual. He seems to be looking for ruins here. Goombario in the desert is great. The desert is filled with bandits who love to steal coins from travelers. That's a lot of bandits. That kind of is worrying. I think I'm just gonna get out of here. Bandits are more trouble than they're worth. Also, I can't exactly remember where all the hidden badges are, or which what exact parts of the desert they're in. This is new! Okay, they've literally changed the desert. Because that is not in the normal game. Oh, man. Let's tattle on the pokey, anyways. Of course it's four of them. Because why not? Okay, Pokies are at least pretty easy to action guard against. I'm kind of glad the enemies don't have buffed HP, just buffed attack. Buffed HP would have made it really annoying. Oh yeah, sweet. Yeah, we're leveling up BP again. <laughs> Faux shizzle. Because again, with the HP and FP plus badges, I can literally just equip one of those instead of leveling up HP or FP. Which, by the way, I'm going to do right now. What the heck? They have literally changed the desert a lot. I love it, but also it's like, wow. Okay, here we go. Attack Epic C badge. I actually love the changes. They're, they're making it so the desert screens don't all look like exactly the same, and it's great. Oh, yeah, and to travel... Oh my gosh, yeah. We, we need Paracarry for this part, don't we? Or actually, no, wait, we can climb the rubble over here. That's so cool. I bet you you can paracarry across that. Lava bubbles! Wow! Okay! I want... I, no, no, we're getting out of there. We're not fighting the lava bubble. 
Oh, yeah. I love the changes they've made to the desert. Hey, uh... I'm gonna just avoid tangling with you. <laughs> Lava bubbles are a great tough enemy addition to the desert. It's It actually makes perfect sense for there to be lava bubbles here. Oh my gosh. This this hack is so genius. I love it. Colorado's like, oh dear me, chap, I just can't find the ruins anywhere. It's like, there, there are ruins everywhere, bro. sign here. Wayward Wanderer. Twisters command the winds that drive the dunes. They know ways through the desert. I, yeah, that sign is not in the vanilla game, is it? I am pretty sure that sign is not in the vanilla game. Is the desert still a square? Oh, yeah, here we are. <laughs> yeah, I definitely love this. these changes to Dry Dry Desert. It definitely... Like, it makes it a bigger pain to navigate, because now sometimes it's like, oh, there's a wall in the way you can't actually pass. Like, you'll have to find a different way for the desert. But it, it at least makes it harder to get lost, I would say, because there are a lot more land unique landmarks. Oh, I need- that's the blue cactus! I gotta get to the blue cactus. That'll take you to the spin attack badge. Okay, this is cool. Oh, wow. Hello, fellow travelers. I am in the middle of a journey, just as you appear to be. Other travelers I meet are like brothers and sisters to me. If you seek dry dry outpost, you must pass the Pokey Army somewhere to the north. Have they changed where Dry Dry Outpost is? Oh my gosh. It is literally a maze to get for the desert now. I love that and hate that at the same time. No! I didn't want to go in there. Oh hey! Well, runaway pay badge. I mean, that's, like, objectively one of the worst badges in the game, but it actually could be a lot more useful in pro mode, because it's much more likely that you're going to kill an enemy than be like, I'm about to die! I need to get out of here now. They're ch here's the thing, they're changing just enough to keep the game, like, exciting, new, and interesting, but they're not changing so much that I'm like, I don't recognize this game anymore, which is great. It's like the perfect amount of change. Okay, I gotta get to that blue cactus, though. Give me that stopwatch. That's going to be a powerful item. Didn't mean to jump off that. Okay, that's not good. Dog on it! I was so close to the blue cactus. Alright, I can find my way back, though. Yeah, it's more frustrating to navigate through the desert, but it's easier to see where you are in the desert. And I'm not fighting the bandits. The bandits are, again, they're not worth your time. Or actually, wait. Wait a second. Never mind, I actually wasn't right next to the blue cactus. Or, like, spatially I was, but... 
The do the sand dunes were in the way. This is really cool, though. How do trees grow here? Why don't we find a big one? Let's take a rest for a while. You wouldn't think that anything could grow around here. This must be a hardy type of tree, huh? Oh my gosh, there's a shortcut for when you get the super hammer. That's cool. That's clever. I like that. So we literally have to go to Pokey Land in order to... To get to Dry Dry Outpost. Really? Okay, hang on. I want to tattle on the lava bubble. This is a lava bubble. Yep. They are not fun. Oh, they don't have as much HP as I thought they would. We're gonna take it out. Okay, never mind. The lava bubble's not... I mean, it's not, it's not like the Hammer Brother in World 1. It's just gonna give us... Wow, it only gave us two experience points. Never mind. I'm sorry, star points. I'm kind of surprised he didn't just immediately run away with how, how pro mode has been going. <laughs> Give me my money back, you thief. And because you stole from me, I will steal from you! Okay, Lava Bubble was not really worth fighting. Okay, here's Pokeland. I've been waiting for you. I have dubbed this area Pokeland. Care to guess why? It is really cool seeing the new desert. Hi, Pokey. Hey, girl. Alright, here we are. Here's the entrance to the outpost. It's a letter to Morty. I wonder if they still have to hit the block for 17 years to crash the game block. Probably, but it, that was at the beginning and I missed it. Alright, I think we're going to have to end the stream there. We just arrived at Dry Dry Outpost. It's a pretty good way to stop. Oh man, Chapter 2 is getting interesting. They've changed a little bit more than they changed in Chapter 1, I feel. I mean, like, they were literally changing the layout of the desert, which I both approve of, but also I'm like, oh man, it's kind of a pain in the butt to navigate through this now. But it's also kind of like I'm playing a new game. But it's still, like, the old game. It's it's a great balance of the old and the new, which I really like. Alright, I'll have to end the stream there, because it is a weekday, and I do have to wake up early for work tomorrow. So, thank you all for joining in. This was a lot of fun. I really enjoy these Monday-Wednesday streams and how short they are. Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'll be doing this again, and we'll probably make... We'll definitely make it to Dry Dry Ruins. We might even beat Chapter 2 next stream. We'll have to see how difficult Dry Dry Ruins is going to be. But hope you guys have a great rest of your evening, and God bless.